Welcome to Sun City here in South Africa, the venue for this year's World's Strongest Man finals. But before we come here, we need to find out which men will qualify. So let's travel to London and the Wembley Arena to find out. Giants Live, Europe's Strongest Man, will not only crown the strongest man in Europe, but give us a chance to see the form of the current World's Strongest Man, Zydrunas Zavikas. Is he still in unstoppable form? To win World's Strongest Man was my dream, and uh, finally I, I won. It was uh, like uh, one of the best day in my life. People in Lithuania was very happy when I won this competition. Uh, everybody talking about this victory. It was a big fight between um, Marius and a lot of people say Marius better, me better, and it was a very important fight, and uh, it was successful for me, and the Lithuanians was very happy. Since I won World's Strongest Man, I get from Lithuanian president order of merit. Uh, my ambitions, like always, to win uh, competitions. I want to win Europe's Strongest Man, and of course, uh, repeat uh, victory in World's Strongest Man. So, for the first time ever, the world's strongest men come to London. Europe's strongest man title is up for grabs, and the reigning champion is on his all-time best form. The British defences will be in the shape of Terry Hollands, Mark Felix, Jimmy Marku and Rob Frampton. The contest will be fought over five disciplines at the world-famous Wembley Arena, the top three athletes will gain those golden tickets to the world's strongest man finals in South Africa. Let's take a look at the lineup of challenges. The world's strongest man, Zydrunas Zavikas from Lithuania. British number one, Terry Hollands from Dartford in Kent. The exciting new pole from Pujanowski stable, Christoph Radzikowski. The 44-year-old veteran, Mark Felix, from Blackburn. Ukraine's number two, Sergei Romanchuk. The first Italian strongman since Franco Colombo, Alex Corletto. A guest lifter in the contest, Canada's Louis-Philippe Jean. 2008 Britain's strongest man, Jimmy Marku. The Bulgarian champion, Stoyan Tordachev. And finally, South of England's strongest man from Portsmouth, Rob Frampton. Over now to Colin Bryce. All right, the first event here is the last man standing, Axel Press overhead. You have to lift this 153 kilo axle up to your shoulders and press it overhead. Well, that's the starting weight, because we then go up and up. If you don't make the weight, you drop out. The world record is 189 kilos held by Derek Poundstone, Marius, the great five times world's strongest man, who, in your opinion, who could do this? Uh, I think he, maybe Zydrunas have very strong shoulders. Uh, maybe he, he win. Maybe also a guy from Poland, uh, uh, Radzikowski, maybe. Uh, I watch, now he's fight. All right, so two men he thinks. There's at least three or four more men who have great shoulders. Well, great shoulders was something that Stoyan Todorchev did not have. He failed his opening weight. 153 kilos, also too much for a manchuk. Mark Felix, always disappointing in these events, but he's got some strong events to come. A chance now for the crowd to really get involved. A lot to look forward to here at Wembley. Well, a chance for Italy this time, Alex Coletto. Italy's strongest man. We don't often see too many top-class Italians in these competitions. 173 kilos, a vast weight. 
Now he's going to try and turn that axle over, and that is very difficult. Now has he got what it takes, Colin? And well, he managed to get it to his chest. He's got to bring his legs into play. No, he doesn't. Well, you can see the sweat on everybody's face here. And the effort that these guys have got to put in is absolutely immense. Rob Frampton next. 173 kilos again. Taking an alternate grip there. That is quite difficult. You've now got to roll it up the chest, and I was just about to say his grip could be a problem. Well, you can see how thick the bar is. You just can't hold it like a normal Olympic weightlifting bar. You've got to use that funny, awkward grip, and Frampton, well, he just can't manage it. Can't get it to his chest. Next up, Radzikowski of Poland. In third place at Europe's strongest man last year. That was an excellent result for him. Oh, straight up to his chest, but then he let it drop down a little bit. Now, what has he got now? Oh, outrageous. Just a simple press above his head, 173 kilos. Thank you very much. Not even a hint of using his legs there. Real arm power. Terry Holland's a giant of a man. Already through to World's Strongest Man final, but a chance to impress once more. This is very awkward, Colin. It's a real test for all of these men. He gets it to his shoulders. Now, can Terry get this overhead? He's practiced it a lot. Oh, ekes it out with the triceps. Oh, my goodness. He gets given the good signal, though. Almost dropped it on his shoulders there over the back of his head. As Zidrinus Zavikas, the world's strongest man. Always very cool, very calm, but when he explodes into action, wow. Everybody had better watch out. Very tall as well, but straight up to his chest, little split of the legs, that was impressive. And next step for all of these competitors, 183. Only four will take the weight, though, because Terry Hollands has quit. So Zavikas, Radzikowski, Jean of Canada and Marku of England. But this was Terry Holland's attempt at 173. He got it, but he almost came a cropper. So the first man out to attempt 183, Louis-Philippe Jean of Canada, actually a guest competitor amongst all these Europeans, but he's a tough fella. Making sure the grip is absolutely perfect. Over 400 pounds on the bar. Just trying to drive it up onto his chest. That's the most difficult part done in some ways. Oh, he's just leaning back too far, Colin. And he's running out of power now. Oh! That was close. Little look of resignation on his face. 173 kilos, his best lift. A big disappointment for Louis Philippe. He's done over 180 before now. Jimmy Marku, former Britain's strongest man. Well, Jimmy just trains down the road, so he knows this area particularly well. Very strong fella, immense upper body. But again, just emphasize the weight, 400 pounds plus, 183 kilos. And this is not far short of the world record, is it? No, we're just six kilos away now. The balance here, absolutely crucial. And Jimmy's just struggling a little bit. Wow, he just ran out of steam. So another man who has to settle for 173 kilos. Three athletes left to go this way. Now this guy was brilliant last time. Krzysztof Radzikowski of Poland. He just pressed the weight above his head. Just get the impression that uh, if he gets it up to his chest, he could just about press out any weight you gave him. Well, he's coached by Pudzianowski, so you know he knows every trick in the book. And he trains very, very hard. Here we go again. Look at these shoulders. Wow. Absolutely magnificent. I'll tell you what, I think this world record could be under threat. Well, Zavikas, he displayed superb technique the last time he lifted. You know what, it appears Terry Hollands has pulled out, so it's a, a two-way shootout then. 
Sibikas has to do this to stay in the contest with Radzikowski. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Displayed a different technique this time, but he gets it. And he certainly looks capable of more. So the bar will now rise to the new world record weight of 193 kilos. That is stunning. Well, Radzikowski, I think he's got shoulder power to match Zavikas here. It's just whether or not he can get it to his chest. You see Zavikas. When it's at his chest, it's like nothing for him. This is going to be fascinating. 193 might not be enough to split them. Well, it's not often you see world records in this sort of lifting. So all we can say, really, is that both of these men, Radzikowski, first of all, and Zavikas, are very special athletes. So Radzikowski first. A comparative novice in strongman, and already he's lifting world record weights. Here we go. Got to try and turn this bar over. He had this problem with the previous weight. Getting it above his head is not a problem, but getting it up to his chest is... Oh, he's got... Oh, I was going to say he almost got it. And I think he may have run out of steam here. And I think he's run out of time as well. Kujanovsky. He knows if he can get it to his chest, he can press it overhead. Still got a few more seconds. Looking over to Kujanovsky. Trying to find some kind of support. No, he's exhausted. He put a lot of effort into that first lift, but 183 kilos, not bad. But here's the king, Zavikas, world's strongest man. Can he add to his list of world record performances? This is knocking on towards 440 pounds. Up to his chest, any bets? Oh, yes. A little bit unbalanced this time, but the greatest weight we've ever seen. A new world record, Savika's maximum points, and that brilliant lift. Well, it's not often you see these world records, as I was saying, but this crowd have seen something special. Well, a lot of people say Zavikas is the strongest man that ever lived. Certainly, he's got the strongest shoulders ever. Now he has the log and the axle records. Zadrunas, that's a fantastic result. Can you do 203? Uh, I, I lived in training more than 200 a uh, few times, but uh, today it's enough 193. Next competition, more. Now, this adds to your list of world records. How many world records do you currently possess? Yeah, since uh, 2003, it's my 46th world record. 46 world records! Yeah. So, what is next on the agenda? What, what world record do you want to break next? Uh, same event, big weight. Same, but not today? Not today, next, next competition. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Zdrunas Zavikas! Zavikas highlights his intent as he nails the first event with a world record. Marku and Holland share third, but there's huge disappointment for Felix as he fails to register a single lift. Next, the Brits battle it out for second place in the medley, and can Zavikas hold on to his lead as Tordachev turns the farmer's walk into a sprint? Strongman royalty in the ample shape of Zidrunas Zavikas leads in London. Over now to the Wembley Arena, and Colin for the next event. Event two is the farmer's walk. A classic strongman event. You have to pick 160 kilos up, sorry, sir guy, in each hand, that's right, 700 pounds in total, and then run it up the 20 meter course. 20 meters back again. Yes, 40 meters in total. But for these guys, it's more like a foot race. Well, our first two did finish the course. Jean of Canada, 48.69 seconds. That was the target. And it was well beaten by Alex Coletto of Italy. A chance here for Romanchuk. And he's up against Todoshev. Real, real strong fella from Bulgaria. I've certainly seen Todoshev in the past. Compete very well in this event, and he's away. Todoshev is absolutely flying. 
but he's got very slim legs for the power they have. And it means that the weights don't bang off them like some of the other really big, bulky guys like Hollins. And this. I know the light will.